Yo, it's the Reaction Pros. Live, you know what it is. I'm brand new. So great to be with your guy, Mahal. It's I, David the Conqueror. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. And thank you so much for the 42.5k subscribers. Yeah. You know, that uh, enlightens our spirit of working hard. It motivates us, you know. So thank you so much for the support, the criticisms, everything we have been trying to work on. You have been telling us this code. Yeah. So by the way, V's birthday is around the corner and today. Oh. Um, yeah, V's birthday is on 30th December. Oh so my god. Something like uh, how many days to go? Something like uh, 16 like, days. No? Yeah. So 16 days to I mean V's birthday. So here today we have some content special for V. Some songs are so we'll be having a five in one video. Uh, we will be having uh, a main uh, lyrics video, right? Yeah. So, uh, the first one will be BTS V, the, the song is called Stigma. And then we have another song called uh, Scenery, and then we have another song called Inner Child, and then another one called Sweet Night. Yo, I think this one is the best for my tell and me. And then we have Snowflower. Hey yo, it's, it's a five in one, and so each song has an information. So I'll be reading each information the moment we'll be reacting to the exact song. Okay, so, uh, here is the first information regarding the first song, Stigma. It says Stigma explores the tragic backstory of V's fictional self in the BTS universe storyline. Wow, V's lyrics express the growing pains of youth as well as a sense of frustration many young people experience okay. he said i want to portray someone young still growing up crying out in anguish that feeling of wanting to refresh about and tell the world you are tired and fed up stigma however is just the first chapter in a story and that story has a happy ending V said the young person in stigma passed through singularity an inner child and grower. So, my brothers, let's see what stigma got for us. Uh, the lyrics. Yeah, so let's see the lyrics here. Seems to be a good song. Yeah, my traditional one. Not the bed, bros.
Tapos pa, pero ang dapat sabihin sa'yo, mapastigma. Just look at the looking at this song the way I understood it. Uh, though we had some information from the Discord here, yeah. so it's like a youthful struggling with the youth, you know, struggling to be successful. So, but uh, hearing the song, it's like V is trying to thank somebody who had his back, somebody who was uh, ready to fight for him. Because I know we, we saw some lyrics there. Uh, you gave up yourself. Oh, your body is fragile, you know. So we can say maybe he was talking to another person, or we can say it's a person, it's a person talking to oneself. I mean, a person talking to himself, you know. So like a person is telling himself, you have surprised yourself for a lot of things, you know. Uh, a lot of pains get hurt in deeper and deeper in the heart, you know. Passing through a lot of things, but yet I didn't lose hope, you know. I still struggled my way out and. What do you think about that? That's according to my understanding, the general understanding of this song. So today I won't be touching uh, I mean literature, I won't be talking about literature in this song. Maybe the next one. So yeah, it's quite in my chest. Stay tuned, the next one is scenery. Uh, I think uh stigma is first of all it's a nice song, a catchy song. Yeah bro. And uh, it gets in your house. Uh Trying to catch up with the lyrics, I think I saw the same thing. Yeah. Like, uh, but there is a point when he said sister and brother made me rethink what I was thinking. Like, for the first time, I was thinking like he's talking to his younger self because yeah. he said you are too young, yeah. very fragile. Like, his younger self did a lot, yeah. he had a lot yeah. to experience whatever he was experiencing, and still he was saying, like, just open up. You haven't talked, you haven't said anything, you just had it built up in you yeah. to endure everything. So at the first time when I was reading the lyrics, I felt like he was talking to his younger self, telling him like it's the moment now we should open up because we can feel that lot. And then in the second verse, he starts saying like, uh, I'm not the person to tell you what you should do or what you shouldn't do. So he is feeling guilty for letting that person, whoever it is, if it's in the inner self or it's another person for just bearing the burden that he was facing. Yeah. And also he reaches a point to say, brother and sister, now there are in third life. Maybe he wasn't talking to his younger self. Maybe he was talking to a person who's growing up together with him, but that person is just like in his human shield. Okay. That person loves him too much that he had to endure everything for him. And so, so basically this problem. stigma carries a lot of message in different perspe I mean, perspectives, you know. Yeah. You must see, maybe he's talking about uh, a brother, to be talking about a sister, yeah. about his younger self, or, or somebody else. Yeah, somebody yeah. else. Yeah. So basically this song covers a whole large number of uh, people in the society. Yeah. yeah, you know, you can listen to the song, uh, blend in with the lyrics, and uh, you can know your position in the song based on the way you understood the lyrics. And I think that's what makes him hard to hard to bear in impressive, you know. Yeah. Having to be able to touch every individual's uh, reality in one same song. Mm, that's a huge support that's a main I I huge creativity. Yeah, man. So uh, let's uh, let's see this second song from V and that's scenery. He has the information. It says uh, scenery is his first year self composed. I mean, scenery is his first ever self composed song in 2019. V said, the way I look at the world when I take photos, the people I see through the lens, the scenery, the streets. And the sky i wanted to write about what those things mean to me he further added on the importance of photography to him and say they are not just photos but a real source of strength to me the song is saying this is how i spent my youth i want more memories like that and i will continue to capture them 
Hey, yo, V, happy birthday, my friends, my boy. And here we are with this song. Are we ready, my brothers? Okay, so let's go. Yeah. Let's have fun. Scenery.
Yeah, this is one of the best songs to listen when while you are reflecting your own self, you know. Just cause I think the way V sang this song with his voice, uh, you know, like a low tone, is like trying to deliver a certain message, right? Mm -hmm. Just uh, but uh, we had uh, it's like uh, the whole message of that song was carried with some of the information from the Discord here. So it's like a scenery. It's like a V was like thinking of some things. He didn't want to lose some things. Uh, he wanted to make them his. So that's why he wrote this song. So it's like uh, after wing, uh, going very deep in his thoughts, thinking about uh, different things, you know, different aspects. Yes, so he ended up writing this song. And most of this song, I think, uh, most of these lyrics. He has written them according to some of the photos he had. That's what I think. That's a quick guess for me. Because uh, uh, Luke had the information here. Uh, before he released this song, he, he was uh, interviewed and he said some of the words that uh, he do care much about photography. You know? So I think this song is good. And it's one of the best songs to listen while you're reflecting your own self. Like reflecting your behavior. Reflecting maybe your changes, you know. Imitating. Yeah, bro. So looking back at the memories that you have made in the past. Yeah, my man. Uh, so I think the next song is Inner Child. A kid. Yeah, so let's see the, uh, the information of this Inner Child. What did they say? That is the sad song. It says the song Inner Child. Reminiscences about uh, the past and how things change, but also relays the message that even though V or the whole group changes, they will continue to do their best for their fans and everyone who supported them. This song was V. This song was written to and reflecting on his past struggles and the other side. Uh, okay, so this song was written by V to reflect himself. And his past younger self. Okay, so I think we're going to go here. Let's have a good time.
So speaking of inner child generally, I think because uh, the information here say that this inner child reminisces uh, V's past life. And uh, we just saw here V thanking his uh, past child, I mean his past self, I mean the child he was. So it's like he's thanking himself for enduring all those pain, enduring the changes, you know. So uh, uh, looking in V's life, he has passed through a lot, you know. So he's like... Uh, he didn't get to live with his parents uh, like full time. You know, he, he lived with his grandparents, right? Mm -hmm. So it's like, you know, for a child to endure all those changes in life, so it's like V is trying to reconnect with his younger self when he was a child and trying to thank his younger self for enduring all that. And uh, so also this song uh, reflects when uh, if, I mean, I'm not saying it's gonna happen, maybe if, uh, maybe the band changes or maybe there's some uh, this band in the BTS so he is trying to explain that there is still going to be the best in them because you know uh, they do appreciate what the people right now are doing to them so that's why this song is all about uh, that inner child you know the way children are normally thankful so I think an inner child uh, that's which, uh, which the inner child is free I think he's very thankful for the changes he has passed through and what they have made him to be who he is right now. So basically, it's a good song. I was happy listening to this song. So you know what's popping, my man Leon's. Are you good, bro? Yeah, I, I think uh, there is a little bit of light in, in a child compared yeah. to the first two songs. But I think still inner child has a connection to stigma. Yeah. And because in the same two songs he still speaks of young self. Yeah. yeah. And uh, the difference between stigma and this is that stigma keeps on telling uh, the young self of uh, reminding himself of the past that mm -hmm. you came up right? yeah. But in inner child he speaks uh, he speaks from the moment he he was a child to the moment he is then expresses about the future to him. Yeah, okay. In the first verse he says like when we were young we kept on looking at the stars though we couldn't see them but we still had dreams you know yeah. and we had to pass through and uh, he is at the moment right now that he can tell his younger self 
the light you are seeing in the sky, that's me at right now. Yeah. Yeah. He is at the point that he is able to shine like shine, other people yeah. too because he is at the level he has succeeded. But still, he also tells the younger self, like, uh, I know we have been through a lot, we have changed, but still, there is change more to come. Yeah. That's why he, in the chorus he says, like, we are going to change. Yeah. But still, we are going to be together. Yeah, because okay. changes are the things that build us to a better self. Yeah. So I think it's a, this is like a storytelling song, and it keeps on gives the light. Storytelling song based on true events. Yeah, and it shines the light to him and his younger self. But there is more to come and there is more uh, love and uh, he will keep on supporting him and his younger self. Okay, so uh, thank you very much, Amelios. That was the call. It was touched very well. Uh, so I think my literature file today is absent. Uh, so basically, uh, let's move on to the fourth song. Sweet night. Uh, that would be Sweet Night. Okay. So uh, as I told you earlier, we will be having information uh, on each song, and I'll be reading the information before we began. So uh, Sweet Night was originally supposed to land on V's mixtape, but he decided to release it as an OST for his close friend Park Seo Jun's drama it had one class oh, yo. so okay so the guy who acted it i won is v's friend yo bro i didn't know this i didn't know this i didn't know okay so uh, let, let me read this information once again okay sweet light was originally okay i'm sorry i pressed something pressed something okay it says Sweet Night was originally supposed to land on V's mixtape, but he decided to release it as an OST for his close friend Park Seo Jun's drama, It's a One Class. Yo, one of them was class. Yeah. Can you do something like that? Maybe you have one of your bangers, right? And I'm your friend and I'm, I'm an actor, right? And uh, it says, like, we are friends and you show me your works and I show you my works. I'll be like, yo, you also have this series here. It's really nice. But I miss on like a background track, you know? Yeah. And then you like watch it and then you feel like you Can know, you pull on this sweet way? night here? It fits in this drum. And then we test it and it goes well. And you decided to release the song earlier before the boy you are supposed to include the song in a mixtape, but you decided to release it earlier. So I think V is one of a kind. He's one of a kind.